so I'm gonna try it again so one row inserted let me go back to my tutorial so see this values keyword I forgot now next uh, is the most common most popular uh, statement for SQL a select statement it, the syntax is select column list from table name and optional is uh, where condition okay so where clause optional clause so let's go back to the drawing board and uh, here I'm gonna just write a very simple select statement without where clause select star means I want to select all the columns from table name which would be context so they are like English statement right uh, select what do you want to select from where do you want to select so let me run this uh, uh, command select star from context so there's only one record in the table as you can see okay so now optionally I can tell Oracle what columns I want to see uh, so I can say I only want to see first name and last name uh, for everything in this table contact okay sorry I have to select this whole whole uh, statement and then run it I just press control enter without selecting it so uh, select first name last name uh, from context so it looks like there is a problem let me describe the table describe uh, so I'm just running only this command so I'm only selecting this command and control enter so see there's a typo here instead of uh, naming the column first name I na name it FIRT rather than FIRST so that's that was the error I was getting here so let me just uh, you know uh, type FIRT so control enter now it has basically selected what I wanted to see so uh, first name and last name okay so anyway let's go back to the tutorial and now we're gonna talk about uh, the update statement alright so update statement works like this update table table name and then you say set this column to this value where whatever the where condition you want to provide update statement will make more sense if we uh, insert a few more uh, records in our table contact so this is what we have in our table contact right now let me insert two more rows so insert into contact values so this time I'm gonna give ID 2 to the second person and uh, let Larry Ellison be the second contact okay and his phone number would be this okay so I'm gonna go I'm gonna run this command this command run one row inserted so let me run the above command select start from contact and you can see we have two records now so let me insert one more record so this time it's gonna be Bill Gates as our third contact and this would be his phone number and let me insert this record by selecting the whole statement and pressing control enter one row inserted and now I'm gonna uh, see whatever we have in this table select start from contact so this is what we have in the table contact three records okay now I'm gonna talk about the update statement so let's say you want to uh, change the phone number for Hassan Mir so we're gonna go update uh, the table name is contact set phone is equal to new phone number and the uh, new phone number would be let's say the area code has been changed from 416 to 905 and the rest would be say 413412 and now we have to provide the where clause if I don't provide the where clause uh, the phone number for everybody would be changed so we're gonna say let's only change the phone number where ID is equal to 1 okay so now we're telling Oracle that only change the phone number for contact number 1 so let me run this statement and statement running one row updated select everything from contact and you're gonna see Hassan will have a new phone number now okay so now you can use the where clause same where clause in, in the select statement as well select start from contact where ID is equal to one now we only gonna see the record for ID number one okay so this is how the where clause works so before that we were running select statement without the where clause so you have seen the use of update statement now the delete, delete statement works the same way delete from uh, you provide the table name and uh, where 
optionally you provide the condition but it's very important you provide the condition otherwise the whole table would be empty okay so let's say let's first see what whatever we have in this uh, in this table so let's start from contact so let's say we want to remove Bill Gates we, he's no more our contact so we're gonna go delete from contact where ID is equal to 3 okay so let me run this statement uh, one row deleted so I'm gonna go select star from contact so we have only two contact now so if I run this delete statement without the where clause the whole table would be emptied okay so it's very dangerous to do that so let's do that delete from contact two rows deleted now I show you select star from contact result and that should be no data found okay so there's a typo here it should be delete from table name where condition the table keyword shouldn't be there now finally we look, take a look at the drop command drop statement so it works like drop table and then the table name okay so right now we have a table contact how do we know we can use the con the describe command to see the structure of the table the describe contact I just run this the command by selecting it and pressing control enter this is the structure of the table now let me drop this um, this table drop table contact and uh, running this command table drop if I do describe contact now it should be uh, object not found okay so now Oracle didn't find the, the table contact so this was a very brief uh, tour of SQL just to give you a flavor of what is SQL all about okay uh, it's all about passing statements and commands to the database to either create objects or to get results or uh, to retrieve data okay so in next tutorial we, you're gonna learn how to install Oracle Express and step by step you will become a pro in structured query language I see you in next tutorial